Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living with term of having. We usually do this through networking. When we do networking, we are networking for our business, we are networking for our family, we are networking for our churches, we are networking for our volunteers. When we're networking, we are putting our personal emotions and psychological ideologies aside, usually, to behave in the most politically correct aspect of the day. What we know about society is that it is ever-changing. What we know about technology, it is ever-present. What we know about God is that He is always watching, and what we know about people is they must have networks. Networks are people that we really truly know, like, and trust. Networks are not usually used for harming other people. Networks that are good and of God's house lift a people up. A person if a, in a good network can say to people, Hey, I'm doing this. Can you help? Hey, I'm needing that. Do you have any to help me with? What we're talking about is community service. Community service is a part of every business. Community service is represented by your people. If people in your company are too po impoverished, they can never get beyond the lip service of their ideology. Every company employee is taught to say, we like to help people. But if they don't really like to help people and they're feeling that they're being played with because they're so used to being played with that they couldn't recognize the sincerity if it bit them in the ass, we have a problem in society. I'm not being facetious. I'm being serious. I can give a genuinely purchased thank you gift when I have cash to someone who helped me on a day that I don't have cash and they start to feel played with. It's not that I'm ungrateful for their help. It's not that I don't value their generosity. It's that I'm trying to try to, I guess, pay them back so that the relationship always remains somewhat balanced. An imbalanced relationship is never healthy. An imbalanced relationship never produces anything other than struggle. But some people who really need networks don't get it. They stay and play only in their family social network. So when they lose a job, they have no one to call for a new job. When they lose that opportunity, they can't get back to it. What I said today to a young woman that I've met through my daily purchasing at a store was, when I get the chance, when I get online, when I get to my LinkedIn account that is totally mine, I will reach out to your new bosses and suggest that they put you in a training for management. I will do that because of what I've experienced of you recently. Not because of what I saw of you last year when you were in a different place, a different space, a different challenge, a different difficulty, a different opportunity, or with a different partner in life. You see, people are allowed to change. The ebb and flow of life is up and down sometimes. And sometimes when people are going through a hell of a lot of challenges, their car breaks down, their husband's playing around, their kids are a pain, and they have to go to work, it's pretty hard for them. That is their main source or network. But when people work through it, when people allow God to be in them, when people start to love on other people, their whole spiritual being shifts. But here's what we know about the curmudgeons of the world. The people who are negative all the time, the people who do not have discernment, the people who are not good in their souls often bring the good people down. 